How are you all doing? Colin at Shine Automotive. Just an update on the KA that we put the 1600 in, making a little bit of sleeper. We've got some goodies, so yeah, let's uh, start opening them. These are the front discs. Everything we've got for you there, so I'll bang the links in to where we got them. These discs are for the 1600, so we're gonna have to convert the front end. But all we have to do, because the calipers are exactly the same, it's just the carriers. But the ends that we took the uh, 1600 out of the right rock box one, we will uh, be um, getting the carriers off that. them bad boys. We'll get them painted up, they're well oiled, but they were just the cheap vented, grooved and drilled discs off eBay, a pair of them. Another one there. Very nice. So we've got them. Let's go on the front. We're going to convert it onto 1600 drums on the back, which are bigger drums as well. Um, I have some off my old autograss car that are already off because I changed my autograss car brakes. One season. This. For all the older guys out here, you're gonna appreciate one of these. Proper cherry bomb. So yeah, the sections, so we'll get that slammed on. Very nice, put the link again down in the description. Crazy doing all this to a 4K. Somebody loves them though, don't they? These bad boys are 60 mil. And slam it. There are your rears. On there. Over here. Very nice. And your front. Both pairs there. Yeah, so that's that's the bits that we've got that we're gonna be chucking on. So yeah. Last time we seen we had it up and running, so it runs well now. It's still on the uh, 1300 ECU. As Scotty would say, rev up your engines! So, obviously putting the uh, 1600 in from the 1300 isn't going to give us massive amounts of power. So I've been toying over the last few days and I've ordered the turbo. So we're going to try and ram a turbo on there and get a little bit more brake horsepower. Ain't going to be loads. If we can get it up to 150, it'll be a right little thing. Obviously keeping it standard so it just looks like a 1300. We're going to have to put some better wheels on it because I don't think the little skinny steel wheels will do. And plus, with what I've learnt from circuit racing in Enduraca, they break on pace. <laughs> so yeah, so that was just a quick update really of uh, how the uh, 1600 little sleeper K is coming on. So what we'll do, getting it on four axle stands on the ramp, taking the wheels off, checking around for any rock, but what I've seen at first time, there isn't any. So take all the wheel axe liners off on the front, clean all the back, strip all the suspension down, give all the uh, insides of the axes a stone chip and do underneath, check the tank as well, probably just give the tank a, a lick of paint as well, check all the bushes and suspension, and then convert the front end to take the bigger discs, so we need the bigger carriers, get them on the front and get all the suspension whipped off, check it, make sure all the shockers are all right, give them a clean down paint, and then chuck the new suspension that we've got on, check the uh, strut top mounts, because they're a rubber floating mount, make sure they're all right, if not, we'll get them swapped out, and then um, we'll start doing the turbo. Oh, it's exciting. So we'll get the turbo slapped on, then we'll um, look on doing the exhaust, Obviously we've got the oil feed to do, we've got to try and put an inner cooler on. But what I've got at the top of the yard, I've got loads of old scrap cars. So I'm going to just try and cobble everything together with that. Obviously I'll buy a turbo um, and I have to get an oil feed and a, a drainer and do tap the, uh, the sump for the oil return to go in. So yeah, that's an update of the uh, KA because we haven't done anything really. But I'm stopping here now so I'm going to start getting stuff done. 
just a bit of security as well would make sure no one uh, decides to break in and nick all our tools like they did at Christmas. So that was really nice of them. Appreciate that if you're uh, watching that. Cheers for nicking all our tools and all our mates' tools and everybody else's tools. So yeah, um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and share with all your friends. You know, we're getting there now. Just subscribers are going up, so yeah, I'm happy. So yeah, right, we'll uh, probably end that one here. And the next one, we'll start cracking on with uh, fitting the new mods on and doing the brake conversion. So yeah, cheers. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And stop recording. Mm -hmm.